everybody, welcome back. I know it's been a long time, but Limited Dollars is back. And yeah, I took uh, about a month off. I uh, had some, I don't know, trips. I went, to, I went on a family vacation for a week and I had to do other stuff. But I am back and I am ready to show you what I've picked up. Now, long story short, I picked this stuff up about three or four four months ago and I was trying to do a video before but then everything I get kept getting interrupted the phone rang and stuff the door knocked someone knocked on the door so I couldn't make this video but I've had this stuff for about four months and now I'm wanting to show you guys so um anyway like I said sorry I've been gone so long but I'm back and I'm gonna be doing a schedule so I can bring you the goodness of this channel all right so I'm going to show you what I picked up now. Um, here's the story. So I went to uh, my local um, Salvation Army. And I go there because, I don't know, sometimes I can find some interesting things. And I did, actually. So I know the first game might not be so interesting, but here we go. We got uh, Vegas Stakes for the Super Nintendo. Now when I got there, I saw a stack of Super Nintendo games and I just grabbed the ones that I thought were kind of cool. And the only reason I picked up this one was because it was $2.99. So, I mean, I like poker. I like I like Vegas. So, picked this up to add the collection. Not too exciting. But the condition of the label isn't too bad. So, not too shabby. Next up. I picked up Super Tennis, yeah. Actually, it came with this actually uh, dust cover, so it's pretty sweet. And I picked this up, went up for one ninety nine, so two dollars here, two dollars there. Um, the label, as the Vegas one, is in really good condition. Yeah. So those were the I think the most boring games that I picked up. Just picked them up to add the collection, you know, filler titles. Next up, I got Star Trek, The Next Generation. Um, no idea what this game's like. I haven't even played it yet, but... I mean, I like Star Wars better than Star Trek, but... Um, this one I found, and it was $5.99. It's not too bad for a non-sports title. Um, it's made by... Spectrum Holobyte. Holobyte. But anyway, not too shabby. And it also came with this desk cover as well. Alright. This one is pretty sweet. Out of this world. I've actually um, seen gameplay of this. And, and it's a little bit different of gameplay. But I'm pretty excited to pick this up. Um, I don't know. Yeah, here we go. 10 bucks for that game. I don't know if that's a really good deal, but I've never seen... Like, in my area, I don't find Super Nintendo games, like, everywhere. Like, flea markets, usually it's PS2, um, Xbox 360. So, when I find Super Nintendo games, I usually pick them up, no matter what they are. Anyway, so, out of this world. Then, um, let's do this one. This one's a pretty sweet title. You know what it is. F-Zero. I remember playing this game with my cousin when we were kids. Man, it was fun. Oh, I love playing this game. It's a really good game. And I, I think, yeah, this one doesn't have the um, sticker on the back. But look at what... What is this on the back? Like, it's like spray paint or something. But actually, the label on the back's not bad. Like, all these labels on the games are super sweet. So, I'm pretty excited about that. But F-Zero... Um, I might be trading this one, so if anyone wants to trade, I'd be down for that. Um, there's a stack of games. Now, the last two of my favorites, we got Paper Boy. Yeah, with the desk cover. Um, and the label, as I said, is in excellent shape. Um, Paper Boy, I haven't played too much. I remember playing it on the Sega, and it's it pretty... It's Standard like you throw papers make sure you're doing your route and stuff, but yeah paperboy 2 and this one was 
$7.99, so a little bit cheaper than the F01, but not too bad of a pickup. I'm pretty stoked about that. Then picked up Super Mario Kart. Man, when I saw this, so stoked. This is why I grabbed Oh my gosh, I, would, I had this game before, I traded it away for something else, I don't remember, and now I have it back. I'm super stoked, I was like, oh my gosh, I have to get this game, and it was $29.99, which is, um, like, le less than eBay, so I'm pretty stoked about that, but man, this game is sick, I love this game, and this is the reason, I was looking for this game for a long time, and I finally found it, and I'm so hyped for this, man. Yeah, I mean, you got Mario, Luigi, Bowser, Donkey Kong, um, Yoshi, Peach, like, Toad, all the classic characters, and you're racing. I mean, what could be better than that? So, all these games for, I, I think I paid, like, actually, I can't do the math, 30, 10, yeah. So around like 50, 60 bucks, something like that. I got all those games and I'm super stoked to add them to collection. As I was saying before, I don't find many Super Nintendo games. So that's why I pick up stuff like Super Tennis and the Vegas Stakes. So, I mean, I got to boost up. Oh man, Pac-Man just fell down. I got to boost up my collection somehow, right? So anyway, thank you for watching. I'm going to let you guys look at this while I talk. Um, I'm going to be making up a schedule, so um, you will see future videos uh, in the making. Um, I'm not sure what I'm going to do. I might continue um, my uh, Pokemon trading card game Let's Play, or I might do some comic pick up pickups. Um, yeah, but i am probably do like two videos a week, try to get back on schedule, and then if I'm successful at that, I will boost up the video with... Uh, more videos like three a week or something anyway thanks for watching please like the video because i love those likes and keep watching and i will see you next time thanks everybody peace out peace